I'm joined now by John Pritchard, iChemi Chief Executive, and Jane Cutler, who is the iChemi President. Uh, John, Jane, thank you both so much for joining us. John, if I can start with you. The programme is called Serving Society. Just how critical is the role that chemical engineers have to play? Well, chemical engineers, are, I believe, are fundamentally the, some of the unsung heroes that, of society in that over the last hundred years, they have done so much to service society's needs. So whether that's being energy for homes, fuel for transport, or, or whether it's just producing the materials that underpin our everyday life and things like the plastic in your toothbrush or the, the plastic in your light switch. So, so fundamentally, chemical engineers help provide everything that you need a, as a member of society to, to, to just go through your daily life. Jane, how are chemical engineers addressing really important issues such as climate change and sustainability? Climate change and sustainability are not separate issues. They're inextricably linked and chemical engineers need to apply their system thinking to understand the whole picture, the relationship between the different components and make sure there's not unintended consequences from any particular courses of action. More specifically, chemical engineers are working to drive energy and resource efficiency, to develop new and better renewable energy sources, to better store energy, be it through batteries or hydrogen or other means. They're working on waste, how to reuse it, how to reduce it and how to dispose of it most appropriately. And finally, they're working on um, sustainable food and recognising the nexus between food, energy and water and how all three of those need to be addressed in a sustainable manner. And John, iChemi is celebrating its centenary this year, isn't it? Congratulations. What sort of celebrations do you have planned? Well, in preparing for the centenary, we, we took the 17 United Nations Millennium Development Goals uh, and we identified nine themes within those where chemical engineers can absolutely make a difference to society. Uh, and so we're going to run those nine themes throughout the remainder of the year. Uh, we're going to start off in February with sustainability in the environment, and we're going to launch a sustainability hub that will help members to improve the efficiency and optimise the processes that they're operating and, and really think about reducing footprints for carbon, CO2 uh, and, and the like. So that's, that, that's how we're going to kick the year off. Towards the end of the year, we're going to conclude with a series of activities that inspire and, and, and promote chemical engineering to the next generation. Because obviously, we need to ensure continuity of a, a chemical engineering workforce to ensure that society continue to be served. Uh, Jane, it's very much, as John says there, isn't it, inspiring the next generation. Why is chemical engineering such a great profession to get into? Well... I could talk about the diverse sectors that a chemical engineering qualification can lead you into, be it food or dairy or pharmaceutical or energy, oil and gas, or I could talk about the fact that we're an international profession. We've got members in many, many countries, but people can sit here, say in Perth, WA, and apply their, their skills and their um, experience to provide solutions and serve communities in many places around the world without, without actually leaving, um, leaving their hometown because chemical engineering is truly an international profession. I could talk also about the great teams that many chemical engineers work in. We work mainly in interdisciplinary teams. So we have the the privilege of working with a diversity of thought. But for me, one of the best things about chemical engineering is actually the thinking. We use system thinking. We think about the big picture. We think about unintended consequences. And we're trained in tools like life cycle analysis to actually um, think about the consequences of what we're doing. So to me, problem solving and the, the thinking processes and the tools and techniques is one of the best things about chemical engineering. What does the future look like now? Well, the future the future is really, really interesting because I think that when you look at what's happening with, with technology, the rate of change of technology means that um, it's going to accelerate. Uh, and all of the things that we all know around digital are getting ever increasing in our lives. Uh, and, and so 
some people talk about the challenge to the future of work around, as a result of digital and technological change. But fundamentally, um, whatever happens in the technology space, you still need the human context. So looking at it, members will be increasingly involved in helping to deliver, optimise and make more efficient all of the processes that serve society. Well, good luck to you in your centenary year. Many thanks for joining us. John Pritchard, Jane Cutler, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon.